Microsoft Copilot is the AI chatbot from Microsoft, and it's actually powered by the same engine that runs ChatGPT. So Microsoft and ChatGPT, they have a partnership. So this partnership allows Microsoft to use the exact same engine that runs ChatGPT. And it does that when you talk to it in text format, and the image model that generates images right inside of Copilot is also the same one that powers ChatGPT. But a lot of people are in the Microsoft ecosystem, so they prefer to use Copilot over ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to get the most out of Copilot. And I'm gonna show you the perfect prompt formula. So when you prompt and talk to Copilot, you get the best results. And I'll pretty much show you every feature here available in the free plan. So you could access Microsoft Copilot at copilot.microsoft.com and you could create yourself a free account. They do have a paid upgrade, which is $20 a month. In this video, I'm only gonna cover the free version, but the $20 a month basically gives you more access to use this. This is gonna hit a limit at some point and some of the smart models that are running this in the background will be capped with the free version, but they are available for free. Okay, inside of Copilot, here is where you type in your question or your request. This is your prompt. And here I'll show you one example. You are a travel planner. Create a five-day itinerary for Tokyo, focusing on food and culture. Keep daily activities under six hours, presented in bullet points. Now, this is how you craft a good prompt. And I'll break this down as soon as I send this out in our next example on how to craft the perfect prompt here using Copilot. The same prompt formula is the same thing that you use inside of ChatGPT if you use that or inside of Google Gemini or pretty much any AI chatbot. Now, Microsoft Copilot is pretty fast and it gives us a very quick bullet point day-to-day -day breakdown exactly following our prompt. Now, sometimes when you talk to Microsoft Copilot, it will search the web and sometimes it will use its internal training data that they use to train it. So sometimes it doesn't require a web search. In case of a travel, it did search the web and it pulled in sources. So if you wanna dive deeper, any of these sources are clickable and they'll take you directly to that page. And I'll show you some of these options on the bottom. So if you wanna share this, you could actually turn this into a link. So I'll show you this as an example. And if I copy this link and open a new tab here and paste that link, I could send basically that same chat conversation, including my prompt to anyone. You also have this option on top, so you could invite people to this conversation. Anyone with a link can chat together with Copilot. If this was not the answer you were looking for, you could go ahead and regenerate, and it lets you create a longer version, a shorter version, or another version by thinking a little bit deeper about the topic. So let me click on this one. This is a really useful one. You see it now uses a different AI in the background called a thinking model. It's a chat GPT model technically, but it usually gives you a better answer. It won't be as instant as the version I got in the very first place, but it gives you usually something more practical. In the case of travel, it's probably not needed, but when you are doing some kind of business strategy, anything work related, sometimes the thinking models are worth waiting a few extra seconds for a new response for. Now for our next example, I'll do a prompt for designing a fitness coach that will create a program for you. You are a fitness coach, design a beginner workout plan for someone with no equipment, including four sessions a week and format it in a weekly schedule. So let's send this out. Now, as soon as you get your response, you'll see some of these things are a link. And the reason is it lets you click these and it actually creates a follow-up conversation. So this is actually taking place in the same conversation, but instead of typing something, it creates all these hyperlinks, which is kind of unique to Copilot. The other chatbots like ChatGPT don't really work that same way. So if you do like that, that makes Copilot a really good option because it lets you quickly dive into a chat with these quick follow-ups that are all clickable like this. So I could just continue this conversation this way. Now on the very bottom, here's one of my favorite options inside of every chat. They have this option called edit in a page. So if you click this option, it opens up a whole new format here. And this format is really nice because everything in here is fully editable, just like any type of a Word document, right? So I could just delete that and you also have some formatting option on top. So I could select things like this, bold, italic, things like that. And you could see as I select something, I could ask a question from a very specific part, right? So let's say I only wanna learn more about this. 
I could say explain this portion and send out this prompt. And you could see now on the right side, it created a different chat for us explaining just that portion here. It gave us references to it and it's gonna give me a revision. So I could say apply the revision here and it's gonna change our draft. As you could see now, this portion of it is more fleshed out here with more details. And it also gave us sources down here. So you could continue your chat in this mode too, just using Copilot here on the right side. Now, before I show you the next example, I wanna show you the perfect prompt formula that you could use inside of Copilot. Again, the same thing that you would use inside of ChatGPT. But the prompt formula typically has four or five parts to it. Not all are required with every prompt. Typically, you get a really good answer, like the examples I showed you, if you use every single part of it. So the first part is what's called a role prompting. So that's how your prompt starts when you're asking it any type of question here and you tell the AI who it should act as. So you are a professional career coach, you are a fitness coach, you are a marketing agent, you are whatever, that could be how you start it. Again, this is optional, but typically gives you a good answer. Then you're asking it to do something for you typically, so that's your task. Tell it exactly what you want. Help me draft a LinkedIn summary, right? You're just telling it what you want it to do so it knows what it should do. But then you need to give it context. Now, this is where a lot of people get bad results out of Copilot and other AI chatbots. Just because when you talk to a real human, an assistant, for example, they already have some context. They've had some interactions with you in the past. They understand your company, your work. They know something already. These models on a new chat right now in this account, it knows nothing about me, right? So it will actually require some background information. So this gives it that background information, any details and any relevant examples. The constraints, another optional, but you could tell it to limit things. So keep it under 150 words, for example, right? That's one way. And you could also define your tone as this example. Typically in my prompt formula, I also have a tone here that tells it, hey, make this professional or friendly, professional approachable is another one. So that's put it in their constraints. Sometimes I refer to that as tone as well. And then the output format. How do you want that response? In the very first example, we did bullet point, right? So in this example, we could say polish paragraph. You would wanna describe that as the very last part of your prompt and typically you get really good answers that way. So for our next prompt, I'll break it down to you. You are a marketing strategist. That's our role, right? We did the role prompting in the very beginning. So in this section of it, I actually gave it both the task. The task is draft three Instagram posts ideas. And then the context is very short here, but it's for a small coffee shop. Now, ideally you wanna give it a lot more context, right? Tell it a lot more about the coffee shop, but this is still a little bit of context at least. And then focus on storytelling and community. That's the constraint where I could have also explained the tone there and present that as a captions with hashtag is our output. So this kind of becomes habit the more and more you use these type of AIs. So I could send this out, but before I do, I'm gonna show you this dropdown right here. By default, this uses the best version of ChatGPT, whatever that is at the time, right? Right now, actually, ChatGPT has a couple of newer models that are probably gonna roll out to this in the ChatGPT 5 family, but when they had three, four, five, six, seven, whatever the model is, Copilot just uses the best model here. And right now, by default, it's gonna use the smartest model, which is their thinking model. So it will decide if it needs to think about this to give you an answer. If you don't want that, you could actually change it and choose a quick response. Now that's not the default here inside of this app, but this will answer you instantly. In this case, I probably wanted to think a little bit, so I'll use that option, the smart option here. They also have this think deeper option that's gonna really go to work and take its time. Sometimes that'll take more than 10 seconds to give you a reply, and that's usually better for complex tasks, not really marketing. Probably the smart model is gonna be good for our content creation and marketing here. And they have a couple other options for study and learning, and they have search mode, which basically forces it to use search, but you don't have to turn it on by default. It'll use search when it needs to use search. Right now, let me switch this to the think deeper model just to show you how that kind of goes to work. And it really depends on your question. So in this prompt, it took two seconds to think, right? It didn't really need to go through it. And it gave us this captions here. And we could again, copy and paste these directly from here onto Instagram or take it to the page and edit them if we wanna do that. Now to start a new chat, 
over here, that's your new chat icon. You could always extend the sidebar here and it will show you any previous chat. I'm just showing you this on a new account, but any previous chat will show up over here. And that will give you access to a couple other things here. So right here, you'll see something called Imagine. So this will basically allow you to create images right inside of Copilot. Again, this is gonna use the same image model that generates images inside of ChatGPT. Now, to generate an image, you could do that inside of any chat. All you have to do is press the plus sign here and generate the image and then type in your prompt. And there we go, we got a really nice image and we could go ahead and just press download here and it'll download that to your computer as a PNG file and then you could post it online from there. Now, the other options you have is you could actually add images or files to Copilot and it will analyze it and you could actually have conversations with your own documents. So this is a great way if you have a long PDF, you wanna extract insights from it, you could go ahead and upload it from here. So I uploaded a Word doc here and I just said, give me a three sentence summary. We could go ahead and send this out here and it's gonna give us a very quick summary here from that document. So you could have back and forth conversations with many documents. You could also do this with multiple documents. So in this case, I uploaded over 15 different documents here so I can see them all. And I'm gonna say, give me a one paragraph summary of that and then it will work kind of the exact same way here as we saw with a single document. Now, the other option you have, which is a good reason to actually upgrade to a paid plan if you are gonna use this often, is a deep research mode. So with deep research, you could basically do the same thing where I type in a prompt, create a research report on the use of generative AI in marketing, for example, but this works entirely differently than anything I've shown you so far. This basically goes through a ton of different websites, sometimes over a hundred, and it creates a very comprehensive research report. I'll show you as soon as it's done. Okay, this took about 12 minutes in this case, and you could see this is a super comprehensive deep research. I mean, look at the report structure just over here. And it is usually over 10 pages, it includes tables like this, includes sources. And again, edit in pages, is probably really, really useful with this type of a research. And it also allows you to have any type of back and forth conversation with this research report with Copilot. Now, one of my favorite option here is this option called use connectors. So if you are in the Microsoft ecosystem, you could connect this to your OneDrive, your Microsoft OneDrive, if you have all your files there, and your email here, if you use Microsoft Outlook, but they also have the Google options as well. So if you use Gmail and you rather get information from Gmail, your Google Calendar, or your Google Drive even, you could pull those in. So they have a whole setting of all the different things you could connect here in the settings tab. Now what that allows you to do is quickly draft replies to an email, right? Because it could read your emails. It could also pull in information that are stored in your Microsoft Drive or your Google Drive, which makes it really easy. You don't have to just press plus sign find that file, upload that file, right? That connection is there and it easily lets you pull these things into it. So it becomes a really, really useful tool for work. And under your settings here, if you click your profile option, they also have memory. So let me show you what this does. So right now I don't have any memory. So as soon as I clicked it, it's telling me, remember this. I could tell it to remember something about me that I teach people how to use generative AI at work. Now I could come to this manage memory, same place I just was, and you could see it stored that to its memory. So now every time I have a new chat, it knows this part about me. And they do have a paid upgrade, so I'll show you that here. They have a personal one and they have a premium one that you could use between six people here. But this basically gives you a higher usage limit of the free Copilot features that I showed you. So some of those were limited when you use smarter models the thinking models or any of the deep research and those type of options. It also puts Copilot in some of your favorite apps like Word, OneNote on your desktop too. So this might be worth the upgrade if Copilot is gonna be the main chatbot that you're gonna use. Now that's your crash course on using Microsoft Copilot. And we actually have an entire learning platform to teach you the best tools in generative AI. So this is one of maybe 50 really useful tools. So on that platform, we have extensive courses on the very best AI tools like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Notebook LM. And we have extensive courses on how to use those tools effectively in all kinds of aspects of work for marketing, content creation, and all kinds of other things as well. And we have several instructors, including myself, and it's all part of one bundle subscription. So you get access to all our courses, 
all the updates and any new course we roll out in the future, as long as you're a member. And it has a seven day free trial and that will unlock everything, including our community, including all our resources. And we have well over a hundred downloadable resources and entire prompt libraries too. So I'll link the seven day free trial in the description so you could try it out for yourself. Now, if you haven't checked out Google Gemini, I do have a comprehensive video just like this one covering Google Gemini right over here.